Hello everybody, welcome to the latest episode of Train Sim Journeys. Uh, before I introduce today's train, we've got a uh, cross-country service coming in here for Dundee, which is uh, part of the AI today. So goes that one. Um, today, I'm at Exodus and David's, as you can probably tell. And I'm going to be driving class 150 and not just that but a 143 as well which is hiding away just behind over here as you can just about see. The Voyager stopped all the way down there because it can and I didn't bother to set the points. Today, as you can tell by the destination, we are headed for Painson. Um, so, uh, yeah, as we're heading for Painson today, I'm just going to try and remember the button for this, because that's the cab light one. Okay. That's fine. Right, so uh, today I've got no guests. It's just going to be me today. I've decided to do some videos where it's just me, just so we can keep this to a good schedule. Um, I'm going to get the head code as well. Ah, oh, the Voyager's just departed as well. I thought something else coming then. God, the points are making one hell of a noise here, aren't they? Right, today we'll be driving uh, Headco 2 Tango 17. I just put random signal numbers now, just put that in all the time. At least the GSMR is working this time. Uh, 2 Tango 17, the uh, 1157 from Exmouth, but the uh, 1232 departing from Exodus and David's to Paynton driving 15263 in GWR livery and we're calling it Exodus and Thomas Starcross Dawlish Warren where we'll be waiting for about 10 minutes Dawlish, Tynmouth, Newton Abbott, Tor, Torquay and, fi and uh, finally Paynton due in at um, 1335 now um, you may see some transitional periods during this video just due to the fact that I am working today so uh, I'm working so at half past 12 today. It's currently in real life time, uh, 11.20, so I'm hoping that we can get some decent mileage in. I might be able to do the whole thing if we can get into painting early enough, but I need to allow myself enough time to go and get ready and uh, sort all that out. So what might happen is I may stop this during... I may stop at the nearest station I can before I sort of run out of time and then during my break and two breaks and lunches come back and then carry on and um, drive to where I can during those time periods and then we should make it to Paynton and then it should be up in time. Anyway, enough of that. The pace, the interior you've got unfortunately is at the Pacer. You've not got the 150 because that never has an interior. But there you go. Um, but yeah, we'll be driving across the seawall again as we have done before, but this time stopping at Dawlish as well, so that'll be nice. Got some AI set up in the scenario as well, hopefully it all works, but you never know. If it doesn't work, then we'll just have to make do with that, I suppose. Right, where are we? Ah, I got it. I got the button. Let's see for the signal. I think the tail lights are now on. Uh, they might be on the 150 actually. 
Nope, they're not. And they're not on the pacer either, which is very annoying. I think it's on the 150 itself, actually, so... It shouldn't be, but it doesn't connect up properly, so... There is one way you can switch the cabs, but I'm just getting used to all the controls, so... That's all right. We'll have to leave it as it is. Um, play about the cabs. It's just a bit of a pain. So actually, might be able to see here. I'm not too used to the uh, keyboard side of things, so I am trying to get used to it. Oh goodness me. Ah, what am I doing? This shows how rubbish I am at train sim. Right. We are ready to go by the way. Um But I've just had a completely dumb moment so we're just gonna have to do it this way because I can't do it any other way Yeah, everyone's probably going to be writing in the uh, in the chat whilst we're talking here, and then starting to correct me of what everything is. I just might I've had a complete brain wipe. Right, we're approaching our first station which is Exeter St. Thomas. Let's go forward a bit. I'm 
I'm so sorry about this. I don't know why I've had a brain work. But I have. Right, we are now at Exeter St. Thomas. Somehow. Right, departing Exeter St. Thomas now. <laughs> After much issues, I'm going to find out the key for the brakes, so... I remember, I remember. Oh god, I've just had a I forgot it was the um apostrophe and semicolon. Right. Okay, that's not happening again, I've just remembered. Right. I just forgot. That's literally what just happened, but there we go. Right, we should be uh, <laughs> a lot more comfortable going forwards to on the rest of this journey to Paynton now. So we departed next to St. Thomas, the next station is Starcross. We've got a train passing us now, which is going to be at uh, Painton Exmouth. It's a uh, Pacer and a Blue 150. So this is of course the line known as the Riviera line. There is actually a, a standalone train simulator pack for this, but it only goes from Exus and Davis to Paynton. It was basically the basic one that first ever came out. It was, uh, it was an interesting one for sure. Bit of lag there as the assets load up as well. I do apologise for that, of course. It's just a uh, random lag that does happen from time to time. That's a nice picture.
this is sort of the stretch of track where we go past Powderham and go past a quite a nice trackside location I've been to quite a few times. I'm not too sure if we've gone past powder yet, to be honest. We may well have done. Closing up the windows a bit because it makes a lot of noise. But yeah, I think we are coming up to it. I think we'll see a big bridge when we get up to powder and when we get up there. Let's uh, have a look. We're about uh, 2.85 miles away from Starcross now. And we've got to slow down because we've got a 75 mile per hour stretch coming up. Yes, I noticed it this time. So, uh, yeah. Coming up right next to the sea now, and here comes the. Uh, we've gone past powder and we've gone past that big bridge, I think. But, uh, yeah. Or unless this bit is over here that's coming up, I don't think it is. No, I think we've already gone past it. Right. Uh, the next station is Starcross, and we're now approaching. Or as the lovely GWR announcer likes to say. We are now approaching Starcross. I make it sound like the one on the 387, but you know. And we're on time into Starcross, that's good news. We were a couple minutes late leaving at St. Thomas due to my own idiocy by a... Uh, by actually not realising how to pull on the brakes properly because I had a dumb moment and forgot. Here comes a cross-country service as well. This is to Manchester Piccadilly from Plymouth. Gotta make sure I keep an eye on time as well. I think we'll get to Newton Abbott by the time that I need to go. I will let you guys know when I'm gonna transition over into the next bit, but I'll keep the game on and just pause it and then uh, come back to it when need to be. So here we are at Starcross, one of my favourite stations on the Riviera Line. With a lovely pacer being, uh, let's say no one's on it. No one wanted the pacer, I don't actually blame them, so you know. The tail lights, the thing is, is you got to switch over into the other cab to actually get the pacer's tail lights to work. But it's so irritating and annoying to do it, I just can't be bothered. 
The tail lights on the 150 aren't on either, although I switched them on, so I don't know what's happening there, but oh well. At least this time it's 15263. The 143, I forgot to say the number of, by the way, it is 143621. Uh, That's our train on the rear of it, the Pacer. Weirdly enough, it says 619 on the rear, although I had to change it to 621, so, oh well. I'm going to see if the pacer actually makes any noise as it, uh, as it leaves, whilst it's with the 150. I'm not too sure if it does, but you know. Anyway, uh, the next station en route is Dawlish Warren. Now, bearing in mind, guys, just to let you know, Dawlish Warren, we have a uh, 10 or 9 minute wait at the station just due to having to let another train go in front of us so uh, we can't really avoid that so we will be uh, pulling into Dawlish Warren next Got a double amber here, that means we've got to start slowing down. Okay, uh, the next station that we are now approaching is Dawlish Warren. We have to have to slow down shortly for a 25 mile per hour uh, speed restriction that's coming in. Uh, the train that's uh, coming in front of us, by the way, uh, you'll see uh, shortly. It isn't something to be surprised by, I'm just saying that oh, I just don't really want to say what it is because it will spoil the surprise just a little bit. We've actually got a couple of trains coming through so we can do a bit of sort of mini spotting at, at Dawlish Warren if you like. About a minute late into Dawlish Warren, but that's, I don't know why, it's just because we are. Got to pull into the loop over here. I know we're on time into Dawlish Warren now. I don't know how it timed us any other way, but there you go. So here we are at Dawlish Warren. All doors have opened and this station is uh, very much a funfair station because as soon as you leave you've got like a carnival basically going on 
Now, I like the uh, assets they've added because that basically represents there's the go karting, uh, there's a little bumper, car, uh, bumper cars, carousel, there's usually like sweet stalls and burger joints and all that over there as well. But that's pretty much uh, what this station has outside of it. You can hear a little bit of an engine in the background because we do have an uh, paint and Exmouth which isn't stopping here. It's a non stop Dawlish to Exus and David's one because, as you know, they're half hourly as to the new timetable. So, here it comes. I'm effectively being the guard, and I just standing outside, right next to the train, doing absolutely nothing until, uh, until we have to leave in in a few minutes. Our departure time here is 12:59. We do have to let, as I say, another train go in front of us. That one's gone past us, not in front of us. So, uh, gone the other way. So, I, I like the way this has been replicated, though, because it's uh, the old build, old building here, which I don't think is used. It might be used, maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, I've been here many times so I know sort of the ins and outs of this place but all I also know is when you go down this ramp over here you turn here and then there's a little it's not as brilliantly done but it's, uh, it's a little walkway you can go underneath but you have to walk to the side there because there's like loads of cars so yeah that reminds me of a song do 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 Gary Newman cars don't know if you know it 80s song very very good um, but yeah, loads of cars there. Also reminds me of a good film. In fact, two good films and a third bad one. So um, yeah, you'll know what I mean by that. Hopefully, um, that's controversial. I hope people are, I see if people disagree with that. Um, I also like the way the signs been replicated. So Riviera Line logo. A lot of the uh, FGW signage had logos for replicating the line. You had. Part of Wessex, you had Riviera, you had um, Avocet, you had Tarka, um, you had Tamar Valley, which is at uh, the stations in between Plymouth and uh, Gunners Lake. I don't think it's at every one, I think it's the ones in between Plymouth and St. Budo, and that's it, but I'm not too sure on that. All these people getting on, I hope they have money for tickets. As it stands at the moment, we are on a red light up there. Invisible assets. Hello there. There's eight car stops all the way up here. This is on a loop, so a bit like a couple other stations I know, like Gloucester, Westbury, Western Supermare, all on loops as well. So, but yeah, this is uh, the moment. I don't think the train that's passing us has passed its red light and uh, passed its signal to get the green and our one hasn't either. I will uh, just pop into the uh, map and just see whereabouts it is. Might as well. Don't see any harm in doing so. Right, so centre us. We are here. And the other service is there, coming on on its way. It's just passing Star Cross now. This is a. Uh, you might have seen the code. It's Newcastle to Plymouth. So it is. I'll just say it is a Voyager. In fact, I think it's a two two one. So I think it's a Super Voyager coming through. It's currently near Dawlish Warren. Oh god, it's not far at all, is it? 
Uh, there we go, look, it's got an amber signal now, so it's gone past Starcross. So, uh, we're on its way shortly. I can hear the hissing from here. It's got a green signal now. Here it comes, I can see it, just about. Can't zoom in on it because I don't have the mouse with me at the moment. I've got a mouse, I just haven't plugged it in yet. So, uh... Here it comes. Newcastle to Plymouth passing through there, heading for Plymouth, as you know, Newton Abbott, the next stop. Right, that one's gone through. Now we've got a few minutes to let that one clear a signal and then we can go. Like I say, our departure time is 12.59, so we've got another two or so minutes here. But yeah, I'd like to know what everyone else's favourite station in the Riviera Line is, because I have a very strong opinion on it. So if you guys were to select between Timmouth Dawlish, Dawlish Warren, Starcross and Exeter St Thomas, how would you rank them as a top five? I know I would rank them as Exeter St Thomas in fifth, uh, Tinmouth in fourth, Dawlish Warren in third, uh, Dawlish in second, Starcross in first. That's how I've always ranked them, but you guys might rank them differently. So be curious to know what you guys think. Like I said, I think our transitional point where I'm going to stop and then just unpause and record again, I think is going to be about, I'm not too sure. I reckon, what time are we on now? It's 11.50 in real time, so um, I reckon Newton Abbott. We might get to beyond that, but I think Newton Abbott. If we run early, we might get the whole thing done, but we'll see. We've got a green signal now, so we're ready to go. So I'm going to get myself ready. So a nice little wait here at Dawlish Warren. Although, normally, this is actually what happens. So in this actual working, it waits here for about 10 minutes. Well, 9 minutes. We got in a minute early. 9 minutes uh, it normally waits here to let that Voyager go past. So Here we go. Right, on the move now. Next station is Dawlish. The pacer does make some noise then. There is life in it. And there's the uh, little accommodation carriages over there. I don't think they're in business anymore, but uh, I remember staying at them once. It was, a, it was a really nice, really nice time. Over there, you've got Langstone Rock, a very good point for spotting. Uh, of course, a very good point for spotting when the lockdown is lifted and restrictions are completely clear. And everything is safe 
so I don't want to encourage people to go out because I know what people are like so we're passing Langstone Rock over here and now we're going to go along the very famous and controversial seawall Okay, so as we uh, approach now, the next station is Dawlish, we're approaching now. Okay, here is Dawlish now approaching. A little bit late, but oh well. It's not too bad. stop a little bit further up here but you know there we go so here we are at Dawlish The uh, classic station sign has also been built at this station, so very, very happy with that, of course. Very well, uh, I, I like to say I call that a nice touch, always. But right by the sea, this station, I'm about to go through the uh, famous five tunnels. Don't know the names of them, so please don't start questioning me on that. Right, now departing uh, Dawlish. Uh, next station on route in about four minutes will be Tinmouth. As we now go through the uh, lovely five tunnels going towards Tinmouth. How late are we? Are we late leaving Dawlish? No, we're not. We're fine. IET coming. Sorry, guys. I know you don't like the noise. That wasn't a very nice experience, I must admit, and I do apologise for any loss of hearing encountered during that uh, during that sequence. Got a 
got a 75 limit coming up now. Okay, uh, shortly be arriving now into Tinmer. Now, uh, I've got a bit of a question for you in regard to music. Which famous band came from Tinmer? I'm not going to tell you who it is because, I, well, I know the answer, but which famous band can you think of that came from Tinmer? It's a band, also, I'll tell you, is one of my favourite bands I've ever listened to. And uh, the question for you is, uh, do you know uh, what band it was that I'm thinking of that comes from Timber? Okay, here we are approaching Tinmouth. We're only a few seconds late into Tinmouth, so I don't think it's a big deal. Right, we've reached Tinmouth. Again, question. Do you know which band came from Tinmouth? Uh, the big sign isn't here. Oh, never mind. At least you got the uh, logo on it. That's all right. That makes up for it, I suppose. So I've got the old departure boards here. I remember them. Good old Just Trains Kuju assets. Gotta love it. Right, on our departure now from Tinmouth. Getting a pacer in the background making a hell of a racket. So moseying along along uh, the steep uh, River Tain estuary, I think it's called. Um, the next station on route will be Newton Abbott. In about four miles. Just to clarify, I think should we get to Newton Abbott in the next four minutes? 
I think what we'll do then is um, sort of pause it there maybe I think we might try and get to tour at least and then once it gets to tour uh, it's going to be around there that I'm going to um, put it to a halt and then uh, just transition over and carry on so Oh, hello, hello. What's this? It's a cross country HST. Plymouth to Glasgow Central. We drove that one. Well, a service similar to that. We didn't, well, you know what I mean. Right, we need to look out for signals here because I think we may have to stop at a signal maybe just a little bit after, but we may not have to, we'll see. Yeah, we do. We got a double amber, but it's not flashing. Very laggy indeed. Oh, hello. Painter next with. 158 and 150. And that means we now have the path to go into Newton Abbott. Because uh, it did go on the same line to uh, begin with, so. Right, uh, now approaching Newton Abbott. It's twelve oh seven. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it here at Newton Abbott and uh, pull in and uh, pause the game and then uh, go get ready and do everything else I need to do and then uh, be back a little bit later on to uh, unpause the game, record again, and um, keep it up. So yeah. But here we are approaching Newton Abbott, our next station stop anyway. And we are on platform 2, which is where they normally go.
Right, here we are at Newton Abbott. Okay, everyone, so uh, I should be back a little bit later to continue. Okay, we're back uh, at Newton Abbott now. Uh, about to depart, ready to head to the next station of Tor. And it's been weird, right? Okay, I left a frot, I left a bloody throttle on, didn't I? There we go. I left a throttle on. That was silly me. <laughs> I've already got AWS going off, like literally immediately after. So the next station on route will be Tor, and then finally, uh, so the remaining calling points on this service are Tor, Torquay, and Paynton. Uh, we'll cross across now and make our way to uh, Tor. Oh yeah, nice and on time into Tor now. We've just uh, left the main line now, so the South Devon main line junction's off from here. And uh, we'll make our way now to uh, Tor on the Riviera line. Actually the name of the line is, this, this is the branch section of the Riviera line, essentially. We will be transitioning off again, probably at Torquay, to do the last stretch to Paynton afterwards. But you know, it'll all be in one, so it's not like you're going to miss out on anything. It just means we'll cut out and then cut back in again when I'm ready to record. So this is just a basic two-track line, the uh, Riviera line. As you guys know, there's only three stations on it. Um, fairly easy to get to all three of them. Tour is the, probably the least served one, but that's not by much, absolutely not by much. Going for a disuse station here. I'm 
might be tall that we transition off that, but we'll see. Okay, we will shortly be arriving into Tor. Running a couple of minutes early into tour, so that's not too bad. We're sort of just playing around with brakes at the moment, just to So we'll be uh, transitioning off here at Tor. Watch we stop. And I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I am back and we are currently at Tor. Running a little bit early in Tor as well, which is quite good. Amount of diesel smoke coming out of uh, out of the top of that pacer. So 
So we should be off shortly. And the next station on route uh, will be Torquay. Right, we've also got an, a paint and Exmouth approaching as well, actually. One fifty and a pace to there. Okay, so leaving Tor, the next station, and very shortly, the next station is Torquay. Okay, here we are approaching uh, Torquay station. See, this one's got a big sign. Why hasn't Tynmouth got it? So here we are at uh, Torquay station, um, and not long here at all. Right, we're off. Okay, and the final station en route will be Painton. So Torquay, uh, there's a massive hotel outside Torquay. I think you probably, guys have probably seen it on videos before. I'm not even too, too sure if it's still open, but it's called the Grand Hotel or something like that. Grand G I can't remember the name of it. Um, I was going to say Grand Union, but it's actually a, a train operator or a planned one anyway. So I can't remember the name of it now. That's going to annoy me. You guys will probably know if any locals are talky or anyone who's stayed in it.
uh, some assets loading again hence the lag there Got a double amber here, so we'll be coming up to a 15 mile per hour limit in a minute because we will be shortly arriving into the final destination on today's route, which will be Paynton. having to slow down a little bit just to allow enough time to approach that 15 mile per hour speed mark. As we zoom in now, there's Paynton. So we've got to cross over onto the other track, hence the 15 mile per hour mark. So here we are in the lovely town of Paynton. Here we are at Paynton. So we've now reached our destination. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching uh, this Trainton Journeys video between Exus and Davids and Paynton. Uh, if you have liked what you've seen, do like and subscribe and do leave any comments because I will go back to them as and when I can. And any recommendations are welcome, so please leave us in the comments as well. Been a very, very enjoyable. Um... Oh, there you go. Uh, but a very very enjoyable journey actually um nice stopping pattern really passing a bit of ai fairly straightforward scenario to make but we haven't done the painting bit yet so i thought it would be nice to do it um yeah so that's trains and journeys over for the next the latest episode episode 26 so episode 27 coming up now is going to be uh norwich to great armor with a class 37 so that will be up next uh, but for me here yeah, on Train Some Journeys, I'll see you on the next video. Train Some Spotting from X to St. David's. Uh, have a good one, guys, and thank you for watching.